brand new XT motors come in the other day. Um, what I really like about these is that um, it's a 22 TPA motor, so it's very similar to the to the um, classic ZCI high torque motor. The design looks, all the parts look pretty much identical to the SHS high torque motors that we sell. Um, that are really really popular. Obviously, they're only a 16 TPA. One main difference is uh, you can see we've got the side vents on here and side vents here. Uh, again, you know the same sort of. It's got an identical pinion to what you'll find on the SHS motor, and identical looking um, uh, magnets as well on there. They seem they seem just as strong. I've, I've no way they did. I think they sent a data, data shoot to me a, a while ago with the actual magnets on, but I can't remember what they are off the top of my head. But they're they're pretty strong. Pretty strong. I have tested the uh, the RPS on this, and it's around about with this setup here. Um, it's around about 25 RPS. That's with a 12 to 1 gear that we've got in there. We haven't short stroked or anything. We've got an M110 spring in there. Uh, we've got a little, little Perrin basic MOSFET on there. Shoots really well. Shoots shoots. Uh, the trigger response is is really good. The um, We'll, we'll, we'll do a um, we'll have a look at the uh, what the consumption is the old power consumption but um, one thing that is slightly different with these motors oh before I talk about that let's show I mean ZCI do the 28 22 TPA motor but the problem with the ZCI it's a it's a good little it's a good little uh, motor but it's always a pain it's always a pain in the ass to get these to get these end end bells off because you've got the tabs here so you have to bend the tabs out to take this off to give it a clean and they these motors do need cleaning you know they're not they're not um not self-cleaning they won't clean themselves you, you will need to give them a cleaning every now and then um they're, they're good motors sometimes they're not shimmed as well but uh this one's got a little bit of a little bit of give in it but uh, that's acceptable really but these ones these new ones from xt they all seem to be all seem to be so far really well shimmed there's no movement in there at all uh, what you may have noticed is this little hole up here you've got one there and one there and if you can have a look at the armature on this one this is essentially what's in here so we've got yeah here we go like that so you can see you've got this little plastic fan that sits around the top just underneath where the tabs, where you've got the tabs are underneath there, presumably to create a little bit of a, a bit of a fan effect on the top there as it spins around. You can see there, you can see it sort of spinning. Whether or not it really works, um, I'm not too sure yet. This is this is part of the test that we're going to do. We're going to um, take the temperature. We're going to do about 2,000 shots in here um, with this build here. 2,000 shots or so. We're going to heat the motor up as, as much as we can. Then we'll take the temperature with them. Um, I've only got something. I've got some crappy thermometers and stuff like that. So we'll take the temperature with that. Um, we'll see what that one does. And then we've got a, an SLD, an older SLD, 22 TPA motor with no vents on it at all. Nothing. And um, we're going to do the same with that one, and we'll see what the temperature is on that one. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping this one will give a little bit more reliability over time. It won't, it won't heat up as much. It won't cause, uh, it won't cause any, any, any of the wires to. I'm, I'm guessing the main problem with some of these motors when they, when they get so hot, the, the wires get heat, heat up, and then they, they're prone to breaking. I'm not an expert with these motors, but I'm guessing heat plays a big part of it. Um, uh, so ooh, what should we do now so let's let's have a quick look at what the uh, what did I say I said the said the RPS was around about 25 on here and that was the same as the, I did that earlier so I did that and that and then they are pretty much identical so about this is uh, shooting um, 25 um, BB's a second with this one and it's its draw, its amp draw should be around about should be around about twelve or thirteen. So let's have a quick look here. That's what the other one was. So 
have a quick look, we're not full auto. Yeah, so about 12 and and if you want to have a quick look at the what the trigger response is like. Really nice, really nice crisp trigger response there. Um, so what we're gonna do now, we'll we'll do a little few more tests with the with the temperature. We'll heat this one up, then we'll heat that one up, and then we'll compare and contrast. Just finished the tests. So we had uh, the we had uh this motor went first, so this is the XT, the new XT with the, with the vents on. It turned out that this motor here was around about 10% cooler after the after the tests, and we ran, we did 2,000 cycles in this uh, with 11.1 battery. Um, we this got to around about 35 degrees uh, in temperature. Uh, the outside case in temperature 30, about around about 35 degrees uh, and then it peaked and then it and then it uh, interestingly the, the temperature dropped quite quickly uh, over the course of uh, over the course of sort of five minutes it went from it went from around about 35 all the way back down to to sort of like not not totally cool but um, surprisingly how much these motors actually keep their heat um, when you sit and watch one that's that's you know sort of around about 40 45 degrees and and how long it keeps it um i never quite realized that um this one so this one was ran about 10 percent cooler than this one over the same amount of shots um the cool down was a lot lot faster and that was what surprised me the most cool down was really quick with this one Whereas this one, it sort of just sat there. It sat there around about 43 degrees for for a few good minutes. It didn't look like it was going down. It was, it was almost this. It's almost if, if it was going up, if anything. So um, definitely not as maybe not as much as um, I thought it might be. Um, at keeping the keeping the temps down. Uh, maybe you'd need um, more vented. In fact, the in fact the. In fact, one thing that um, I actually didn't really think about was the was the the bottom of the motor. Uh, you can see it's all it's all closed in. It's got it's like like a heatsink uh, effect. But uh, I think you'd probably get better results if these were if these were actually vented uh, instead. So that's something to to think about if you're really looking at uh, keeping the temps down. Uh, but uh, yeah, overall for the for the same amount, the same price and. And for what you get, it's a, a really impressive motor. I really, really liking this a lot.